So Prigozhin is the leader of Wagner Mercenary Group, which is fighting in Ukraine currently. It's a private military group. Uh, they've been integral in a lot of the major battles in Ukraine, including Bakhmut, and they've also been present, rumored, in Africa and in infiltrating a few areas there. So essentially, a few weeks ago, uh, Prigozhin led a battalion of Wagner troops through Russia with essentially no resistance. They overtook a city, Rostov-on-Don, and they got within 120 miles of Moscow, which is unheard of, until suddenly they got a call to call off the mission. Since then, Prigozhin has essentially disappeared from the radar. He's being rumored to live in exile in Belarus, although this hasn't been confirmed. There's been some sightings of him in St. Petersburg and Moscow, but again, these aren't confirmed, so his whereabouts right now are pretty unknown. The FSB released today through Russian-linked telegram channels photos of a raid in his a property in St. Petersburg. And there they found gold bars, guns, ammunition, um, a plethora of disguises, multiple passports, and they also released photos of Prigozhin wearing these disguises. Uh, the uniforms found and some photos of him wearing the uniforms are from countries uh, ranging from Syria to Libya to other African nations that Wagner is rumored to and in some cases has been proven to infiltrate. Uh, cash in multiple currencies was found bundled up in wads. There were multiple gold bars. Upwards of one million pounds in cash was found, I believe. And investigators have also found a disturbing framed photo of severed heads of what's thought to be traitors to Wagner. There's a stuffed alligator. You can see his obscene wealth, which is thought to be in the billions. Uh, he also has a grand piano, full sauna, a full spa. Photos released today also revealed a private swimming pool, complete with a little slide. And this is in addition to his private yacht and a private plane. Uh, so it's really like a loaded gun in the case against Prigozhin, if there is to be one.